Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to add page X of total pages in report footer or report header by using expressions in SSRS report. So let's go ahead and create a report and add those page X of total pages. First of all, we need some data. So here is my query that I'm going to use for this report. Let's execute this one. This is a returning 176 records. Let's copy this one. This is in the sales database. So go to the SSDT SQL Server data tools. Now, SSRS the project is already open, so we don't have to create new one. And uh, now, uh, sales data, sales dot RDS. That's a shared data source that's already created. It is pointing to the sales database, so we don't have to create that one as well. You can create new one if you need by right clicking on shared data sources and add a new data source. Now go to the report. Uh, reports tab actually and right click add and uh, new item here you will see the report uh, that will create an uh, empty report for us uh, let's go ahead and uh, give some name um, expression page number of total page so that's the name we have given to our report add empty report will be created right click on the data sources uh, here you will be able to create an embedded data source or use the shared one so in our case we are going to use the shared one so let's call this one DS sales and here use shared data source as reference so click here hit OK now go to the data sets uh, right click here add data set that's the uh, data set is a query results uh, a return uh, by the store procedure or select query or uh, you uh, you are maybe using function or view so anything that is returned by your query that's going to be our data set so we call in the set uh, sale total and this is going to be embedded uh, and select the data source paste your query here now let's uh, come here and insert a table once you are in the table you will see those uh, information is required so we need to have the fields here and uh, some header and detail information so bring the fields here and uh, that's how we are producing our report so let's bring another one maybe a country that's all click here now make it bold and give some background color for column header row this looks great and uh, now we can see that okay this is page one of two page two of three and the three of four and that's a four of five and this is it so that's how these are the pages we can see and we can go back to the very first page what we want to see if we are here we want to see somewhere on the top or somewhere say okay this page is number two of five and this page is three of five and four of five and five of five so that's what we want to do so to do that we can go ahead and put a header and footer in this case I'm gonna show you both of them if you wanna display your uh, page numbers on the top of this uh, header column so you can add a page header let's uh, uh, add a page header first and then we'll create a, a page footer so click here anywhere here where you see the mouse uh, right after this uh, white uh, page so click here and once you say that add page header so once that is added now you can go ahead and add your uh, items that you want to see, see or show on each of the page so right click here and we will see uh, insert and text box and uh, that's what we can uh, display here now there are multiple things we can do here maybe we want to add also a, a text box for the report name let's say if I would like to call this one my sale report we will say sale report now this is the text box we want to show here and on the header let's make this one uh, maybe yellow background let's make it bold maybe a little bit bigger now we are good here with this one on this part what we want to show we want to show the page X of total pages so we can go ahead and add that part right click here go to the expressions and here we will be using built-in fields so first of all I would like to say page and then we'll say get the page number actually so it will say page one of total pages so here we have page number and then sorry let me first add that so page number here we need to add some constant values we want to say okay page that's uh, our string then we want to add with the page number so this will say page one and then we have to add another thing and say off and give some space and say 
total pages so you see that uh, here we have total pages uh, that we can use double click here and uh, that's it now you're done let me run this one as it is and uh, give you show you the error and then we come back and fix that error so I'm gonna copy this one just in case so we hit okay let's go back here and we can see that uh, report sale is coming on correct uh, but if we go to the next page it is coming on each of the page that's good but here we see the error it's not showing us the page number of total pages so that's the uh, that's the error we need to fix let me take this one here and right click again go to the expressions and the error is see this number is a integer number and this one is the string so that's not possible you cannot add your number to integer so you have to have a um, string on both sides so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use a function so we have different functions here there are string functions so let's take a look on this one let me see what function we text functions and here if I will have C string somewhere so I can use that one and then that will be able to use so let me see where it is but I know one of the function called maybe conversion yeah mm -hmm. let's go to conversion because we are converting some data types C string can convert the value to the string so if you see here we can just have to write C string C string that's all and we will put a parenthesis here also this total page we have to convert C as TR put parenthesis as its function it need the value inside so we are all good here now let's copy this one copy okay no now everything is looking good see that's the sale report uh, page one of five next if you click uh, page two of five and page three of five four of five and five of five so that's how you will be able to show the page uh, x of total pages this can be also done if you don't like it here you can go ahead and right click uh, and say add page footer so once it is there you can uh, I believe you can click here sorry let's click uh, here and say copy and let's paste it here so paste it brought that part exactly the same we can copy and paste and let's uh, remove some extra spaces here this one is also we can make close to the header so we can see the things a little better let's uh, move little this up now we are here let's move this one as well so we can move this one right here all good now let's go ahead and preview our report so we see that page one of five if we go down it will show us sorry if we go here page one of five and if I go to the next page here then I can see page two of five so that's how you will see that this uh, see this uh, last line is kind of cut you can adjust the settings so let's move this one a little bit down and also maybe this one is down so we can see things better now this is the adjustment you have to just do it and uh, it will work just fine so page 205 and in case uh, you want to give the color to this one just click on this one and um, the text box and uh, change the background color so let's say go green again and here maybe we want another color maybe pink and now we are all good here so you can see page 105 you can adjust that length and width whatever of these uh, text boxes you want and you will see that page 105 so that's how you can add anything static such as let's say you want to add another thing for your company they, they have some notes uh, let's say okay this is a this report is proprietary or this pro report is only for the company use and nobody should see this report and all those kind of thing you can write that this is uh, my company report and uh, you want to put logo or something on top of th this one you can always add image here you can insert uh, you know a rectangle text boxes whatever you want you can go ahead and insert that here in the te in your header and uh, that will be shown on each of the report uh, we will do another video so but this is what I was saying like if your company has some notes that they want to put on each of the page if somebody try to print uh, this company information will be part of that so you can take a look here this uh, this is my company report and whatever they want to have a note in the red maybe you know don't share this report with anybody uh, all those kind of information and they you can uh, sorry uh, this can be in the red let's say this note is very important they want to more put in the red 
and uh, now you will preview so header and footers are really great uh, to use uh, when you have uh, any um, uh, uh, information on each of the page and you want to repeat it over and over you can add those header and footer and put that information so thanks very much for watching this video and i'm gonna see you as in the next video